Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write the quantitative analysis FRQ. So what are we waiting for? All right, now that you know how to write the concept application FRQ, it's time to turn our attention to FRQ number two, the quantitative analysis. Okay, so the purpose of this FRQ is really to find out if you can read a graph, a table, data, a chart, that sort of thing, and then apply APGov concepts to the data given to you in that chart. So this is a really favorable FRQ. Reading charts, maps, cartoons, that kind of thing, this is a skill that you can practice and build so you'll feel really confident on test day. Let's take a look at the 2019 Quantitative Analysis FRQ. Okay, first thing we notice is the bar graph. Start by looking over it. Be sure to read the title, or in this case, the poll question being asked. Should government officials compromise or stick to their principles? And you can see the responses by Democrats, Independents, and Republicans. Part A says, identify the political affiliation of people who are most likely to believe elected officials should compromise. It only takes one sentence to respond to an identify prompt. And the great thing about it is that it counts just as much as it describes and explains, even though those are tougher. But this is a pretty easy prompt, right? You gotta be feeling better about these FRQs already. Here's a sample correct answer for A. It's really that easy. In fact, I don't even have a sample of a wrong answer to show you for this one. Man, I love identifies. Okay, part B is wordy, but it says, describe the difference between Democrats and Republicans on their attitudes of whether government officials should stick to their principles based on the data in the bar graph. Remember that when you describe something, you need to include details. In this particular case, there's really not much for you to say. You just need to make sure you address both the attitudes of Democrats and Republicans. Here's a sample response from College Board that earned the point. The majority of Democrats, 66%, prefer government officials to compromise, whereas the majority of Republicans, 55%, prefer government officials to stick to their principles. Again, just one sentence but I want you to notice that the student used specific data from the bar graph to describe the attitudes of both parties. On the other hand, here's a response that didn't earn the point. It's longer than the other one, so what's the problem? Do you see anything missing? They never address democratic attitudes. Rather than address both sides, this student just focused on Republicans and attempted to explain the Republican attitude but that's not what the prompt said to do, so they don't earn the point. All right, let's take a look at part C. Explain how the data in the bar graph could influence how a Republican candidate would shift his or her campaign positions after securing the Republican nomination for president. Remember, when explaining, you need to elaborate, to provide evidence, use the word because to make relationships clear. Let's look at a response that earned this point. Without even reading it, you can see that the student elaborated. This looks like what an explain response should look like. The first sentence, she gives her basic answer that after winning the nomination, the Republican candidate should be willing to compromise. That alone doesn't earn the point though. She continues on and elaborates, explaining how and why that's the right answer. It's because they could appeal to Democrats and independents who prefer compromise, and this might help them win the election. And finally, part D. Explain how the data in the bar graph could affect policymaking interactions between the president and Congress. So you have to make a connection between that data in the graph and how that could affect congressional and presidential interactions. I'm going to share two sample responses, and I want you to pause the video, read them both, and pick out which one earned the point and which one didn't. Okay, pause it if you haven't already, I'm going to reveal the answers. The first one doesn't earn the point, because it's not on topic. The data tells us the attitudes of different partisan groups regarding compromise, but the student wrote about approval ratings and a president's popularity. The stuff they said is basically correct, but not relevant to the prompt, which was not about popularity and approval ratings. The second response earns the point and is a good example of what an explaining response should look like. 
they successfully highlight the results of Congress and the president compromising, as well as the results if they stick to their principles. So they link the data to the prompt about policy making. All right, that's it for this video. Stick with me and I'll walk you through the other FRQs and get you ready to write these things like a champ. Until next time, this is Ben, a Lamani production. Thanks again for watching this video and supporting my channel. Do me a favor and crush that like button if this video helped you. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notifications so you don't miss any new videos. And hey, if you're looking for some great practice and study guides, check out the ultimate review packet. I promise it'll help you get ready for this AP exam. See you guys in the next video.